Greetings, Starfarers, and welcome to another episode of Sunless Skies of Cobalthorium. In this episode, I think we're going to try to explore some of the area to the east over here, maybe the southeast. I figure that we could probably sort of uh, follow some of these rocks, see what's down here maybe. Yeah, let's follow this rock right here, the Bancroft's, Bancroft's Forum rock, and try to end up down here. Let's see what's there. See if we can find the, the circus would be good. Uh, the hy Hybris, 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 uh, the Titania. Uh, there's a couple other places that I know are typically in this region. make sure that we find. We'll just complete this, uh, little, ooh, here we go. There's some, some way to fight. Seize the cargo. What do we have? We got some unseasoned hours. Nice. I still think our stove pipes are probably not doing too well. I mean, we could always toss in some of our favors and make them uh, get them some reinforcements here. It's a little too early. We might need those favors or something. Gabriel's archive. I want to get up in here maybe so that we don't miss anything in terms of locations. These locations are worth quite a bit, although I think these ones at the beginning, towards the start of the map, are probably worth quite a bit less. Still a bit of a ways to our next level. open space. There's no real rocks to hop to. Okay, here we go. Right, what do you look like? Let's go south around it. Gantrum beasts rattle your engine. Here, the reach runs wild. I think that's what that said. It's trying to read while navigating. <laughs> trying to read while not running into any walls. Not much of a multitasker. Battlefield, grave of techniques and stove pipes alike. Somebody up there. Probably a bandit. They might be too far away. I'm not gonna go after him. Finish the circuit. So, we'll finish the circuit, and then... I don't know, I really think that there's something over here. I don't know if that would have been out of Rage or Owl, but... It's possible that there's nothing here. The clamor of New Winchester can be heard in the wind. Familiar as a disagreeable ankle. Yeah, I almost said ankle. Alright, I think we'll 
we'll hop to the south stone. And we'll come around here. South Island. I really love like the detail on these islands and stuff. We can explore the cabin or raid the safe. Um, hmm, 100% chance. This usually gives us like stories or rumors. Let's do it. Yeah, we got some salon stew gossip. Uh, I think we've read that before, so I'm not going to reread it. Willie Williams Weld. I like how that's spelled actually. The Y there. It could be Williams Wheel. Interesting foliage here. I wonder if that means we're getting close to Titania. We're getting kinda low on gear what do we have here. We do have something. Uh, should I loop around and just finish this? Yeah. Let's be diligent about our cartography here. I think that that's one thing that we've sort of lacked for in the past, and it's left us with a bunch of areas that are like partially explored but not fully, which is not great because then the incentive to go back and fill in the gaps is really low. The, engine, the engine's headlights glow like a ghost upon icy mists. Okay, so we're getting into the icy area. This is a big island, jeez. I still think of these rocks in terms of islands because of the original game, which I didn't play too much of, but I played a little bit of it. I should probably go back and do that. Get a bunch of spoilers in this game. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, like, see, we probably at some point should have gone around to this rock. Maybe we should just do it. Let's do it. Diligence. Diligence. It'll make everything faster later on. Take a little bit of time now. Save some save a lot of time later, potentially. Diligence. Might also run out of supplies. I wonder if of Titania. I assume that that's Titania down there. I don't actually know. Um, but, like, with the, the sort of uh, growths that were around it, the sort of planty growths that were around it, uh, I mean, it could be 
the forest preserve. Do we want to kind of shave off this little bit here too? No, let's do it. Let's just get it all done. Get it all done right now. Those 50, 57, that's like nothing. It's 57 experience points. I suppose we're still a little too close to home for these locations to really be worth a lot. So I figure we can finish this up, we'll go down here and we'll see if there's a gap. Uh, now I want to go around this rock, but I think we've done enough stellar cartography. It's time to find out what what's down there, rather than just clearing off the bug of war. I probably don't have to hug quite as close either as I do. Yep, the Winchester. Fuel's holding out. Food is a little low. really like to make a game like this. I have ideas. Lots of ideas for stories and locations. But it's hard to do something like this without like ripping it off. I'd have to come up with some kind of a catch, some kind of something to change the focus and make it stand out, give it some variety. I really do like the uh, the sort of aesthetic though of the it's almost like a shattered planet with all these pieces drifting around. Alright, let's see what we can do here. We got a rock. Let's follow this rock this way. I assume that, like, that ivy sort of differentiates where you can and can't pass. Oh boy. Oh, that's one of the nasty ones. I'm just gonna run away. Now oh, I got us some more food. That's exactly what we needed, too. Now I'm thinking that this is going to be that forest preserve. I want to see it around here. The nature preserve or whatever. Whoa, I'm a... 
Ended up a lot further south than expected. Uh, this might be even more down here. Whoa, we found another. Whoa, okay. Okay, interesting. Let's head up to this one. We ended up finding two. And they found some stuff down here. Wow, this owl's got some serious range. Oh, what is this? Stop. Uh, terror. As your terror rises, bad things will happen. You can reduce your terror by finding new ports. Uh, returning to major ports like London or New Winchester and through special opportunities at ports. Uh, wait. Uh, you can reduce terror. Okay, so it's saying we can reduce terror. Uh, and through opportunities at ports you've been to before. Try not to let it reach 100. This is usually fatal. If you do survive, you'll suffer grave harm. It was that scouts thing. Discontent. A junior signaler receives a dose of medicinal port in the infirmary. After seeing a frozen corpse spin past his window, the experience has shaken him. The dead are hungry, he says. We need to make an offering, or it'll come back and knock it on the hull. He jettisons some supplies and reprimand him. You double back in the cor uh, the corpse and loot it. All right, so just some some supplies. Didn't take long for Skyfarers to shed their ridiculous, old nautical superstitions uh, and replace them with ridiculous new ones. Still, better keep the crew happy. We could stuff the um, s stuff in nonsense. We could reprimand him. We could do that. Uh, what is this? We could double back for the corpse and loot it. Uh, the search will cost fuel, but might prove profitable. Perhaps it has a pocket watch or a silver brooch or other valuables. We could recover the body and transport for burial. Uh, it will be poor company, uh, but it is what you'd want to happen if you were found dead in the sky. Reduce terror by 50, but increase your nightmares. I don't want nightmares. Well, that's kind of what I want to do, but I don't want nightmares. Um, if we just reprimand him, I think he's gonna. I don't want to do this because this feels like it would give us bad luck. This might give us good luck. This might do nothing. I don't. I really don't want nightmares. I mean, I think that we can reduce our nightmares by going to Magna Lanes, but better than just not have any at all. Let's just rep random. We're going to get more terror out of this, aren't we? The crewman returns, sheepishly to duty, but continues to jump every time debris clangs on the hull. It is debris, you're almost certain. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to be at this port pretty soon, so... Let's do a once around on this island here. Uh, capabilities cabin. Yeah, this is going to be that nature preserve. Oh, there it is. Golden lights dance in the distance, bright and brief as dandelion seeds passing through a sun. So poetic. Get up there. Sorry for the diligence. Just want the map to wrap. There's a duck captain, the little lady declares. The crew are relieved at the thought 
solid land. Let's go fight this guy. No damage. We can search for s survivors. We can try to gain crew. Usually, I think that the crew will increase your tar because they're star mad. So it usually isn't all that useful. Um, yeah, let's just go for the random treasure. All right, we got some munitions. The gunner sniffs. Uh, so this is death's bounty. Gunner sniffs just before the lid is wrenched open. Gunpowder, they assert, before assuming responsibility for the opening. Once the lid has been carefully prized off, the case's gleaming arsenal of ammunition, sealed powders, and callous weaponry is laid bare. This will fetch a handsome price. The heavens do not lack for murderers. How deep the greens, how cold the stars, how wild the reaches run, no sun to govern it. Okay, so this is the LNS Nature Reserve. Ledbetter and Stainrod is an elderly London company with custodians of the Empire's first uh, supernal nature reserve. Supernal? Supernal? To find work with them, head for Capabilities Cabins. If you'd rather enjoy the reserve, seek the gateway of Albert's Idol. So we have Leadbeater and Stainrod Bay. This concrete bay is for loading and unloading locomotives. Um, it disappoints tourists who expect to arrive at a scenic waterside. It mainly caters for the workers of the Leadbeater, 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 and Stainrod Company, who come to collect goods from the laboratories here. Cable cars link to the main reserve below, and the scenic base at Capabilities Inquest. So let's get a report report. The reserve is a point of pride for the Empire. The Leadbeater and Stainrod Nature Reserve is a national park maintained at great expense by the company. Scores of researchers come here to study the nature of the reach. Many visitors come here too for a pleasant holiday. All right. <coughs> we can converse with our fellow captains. What brings you out this way? For a few to the work provided by the Leadbeater and Stainrod Company. For the rest, the reason is the same. They're drawn by the beauty of the reserve. Some are here with tourists from across the Empire. Others are here to give their crews a respite. Uh, others are simply passing by and couldn't resist stopping in. Already do this? I guess we did. Does it say anything else? No. All right. Um. So we're that's this is the loading bay, I suppose. Yep. Yep. Okay. Nothing else. Uh. Capabilities inquest. A clump of cabins used by Leadbeater and Stainrod's researchers as they plumb and catalog the secrets of the reserve. Enterprising captains may find work for the company here. Base of research. The researchers of the reserve have a number of laboratories scattered among the tourist cabins. Uh, okay. The researcher. Uh, from here, they study the, mysteri uh, the mysteries of the reach. Read the request all park goers. A researcher of the reserve has pinned up 
a call for aid. We want to study the powerful forces of nature at work in the Reach, so that we may improve the life of all citizens of the Empire. If you are the intrepid sort and willing to aid our earnest efforts, we are offering a reward for the following. I see you're interested. The phlegmatic researcher has wheeled up behind you. His left leg is raised, perhaps, to reduce the very obvious swelling. Keys to understanding the remarkable principles of growth and cultivation are waiting here. We just need suitable specimens. If you aid our research, we'll ensure you're properly remunerated. Okay. Uh, the researchers of the reserve have a number of lever. Okay, we've read that. Uh, so we have the uh, phleg phlegmatic researchers list. The phlegmatic researcher is studying the studying the mysteries of the reach. What can you bring him to aid him? Or we could inquire into the phlegmatic researcher's current course of study. What mysteries is he delving into? Might as well ask before we go over the list. Currently, I'm making a study into the orderliness of the Reach. It may be untamed, but a firm logic has guided its growth. I wish to better understand this principle. I should do more of a voice like the... Uh, like the guy from... Uh, Half-Life. Gordon! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Alright, we'll try to do that. He needs... Uh, he needs... He needs one of the following requests. Of course, he's happy to reward you uh, if you bring back more. Alright. So, experiment sanctioned by the company. The phlegmatic researcher has requested... That he be brought wings of a chorister bee. The phlegmatic researcher has requested that he be brought ants. I don't know where to find ants. Uh, the phlegmatic researcher has requested that he be brought hybris pus. Gross. That is nasty. Um, okay. The researchers in the nature reserve toil away at their laboratories. The phlegmatic researcher has identified certain elements, however which may quicken their progress, wanted the wings of a coarser bee to determine the cause of their malady. Melody, not malady. Wanted ants newly introduced to humankind. We have received curious reports of certain homesteads about the behavior... Wait, from certain homesteads about the behavior of ants. Or we could do wanted hybris pus. The weeping sores of Hybris may yield deeper insights into the Verdant Reach. Since we haven't found Hybris yet, um, this is a little bit of metagaming here. Uh, the first time you go to Hybris, it's fine. Uh, the second time you go to Hybris, it's usually under attack by Chorister Bees. Um, and I don't think you can get the Hybris Pus if it's currently under attack. So we want to do this one. Uh, I believe that it gets under attack and then it gets damaged and you can't meet with the mayor um, as long as it's damaged and then to fix the damage you either have, have to go to London or to some other place and pick up a style for it of course we're going to give it London style um, but we may be able to meet with the mayor and get Hybris Pus before it is damaged and complete this quest earlier if we take this first. So we're going to take this first. It may hold properties either beneficial or detrimental to the human frame. We intend to find out. All right. Perhaps not. I think we're done here. Let us move to Albert's Idil. Idil? Idil. The lead better in Stainrod Research, uh, Nature Research Reserve is immense, untrodden, and hinter is an, is and oh jeez, I totally screwed that up. The lead better in Stainrod Nature Reserve is, is an immense, 
immense, blah, I can't speak, untrodden hinterland of the reaches unreasonably fecund flora and fauna. Nice. Uh, <laughs> is popular with London's more outdoorsy tourists into the reserve. The park is filled with birds and flowers, trees and woodland creatures, streams and bumbling insects and other insidious dangers. Visitors are not allowed to venture too deeply into the reserve without an escort, but we could arrange for a guide. Door guides are essential in this place. Park guests are forbidden from entering the deeper sections of the reserve alone. The only person available to help you is a romantic ornithologist. He is lean and plainly dressed, with a long, wiry beard. The other researchers introduce you. Did you know of our colleague here? One indicates the ornithologist. Is looking for the mythical bird whose beak peck peck pecks away at the mountain of eternity. They, uh, they stifle giggles. The ornithologist maintains his smile and gestures towards the forest path. I'll be glad to show you the reserve. I hope you'll join me later. You can often find me at the watchtower. All right. Okay. We're going to go visit the ornithologist, I suppose. If he is not hiking through the wilderness or camping beneath the bough of one of the great trees, he is sat alone in his watchtower, watching for his bird. Uh, he not he nods hello as you enter. Welcome, T. We will ask him about the bird. He is searching for a mythical bird. What is it and why? Or he could ask about the reserve. How does he find the wilderness? Or we could ask about his fellow researchers. Is he on good terms with the other scientists? We already know he's not. There are other birds I could study, of course, he says, shrugging. But that's not the point. We had thought this bird a myth. The bird who wears away at the mother mountains pebble by pebble. But miners have seen it. The heavens are home to improbable things. I wonder if this bird's just been around forever because the Mother Mountains, I believe, is down near whatever the name of that place is, um, where they have all the the mining of the uh, the hours. So if it's taking pebbles, it could be taking pebbles of hours and might be, I don't know, immortal. Now let's ask about the reserve. How does he find the wilderness? He smiles like a child. It is my home, he says, my church. Okay. One more. We'll ask about his fellow researchers. The ornithologist tilts his head from side to side. I get on better alone. It's not that I don't enjoy company, but... He scratches his beard. I think it's a, pr uh, a difference in philosophy. They want to conquer nature and her secrets. I want to be her confidant. Let's take our trip into the reserve. The ornithologist is happy to oblige your interest. The romantic ornithologist claps his hands with quiet delight when he sees you. I've found a most wonderful place, shall we? You delve into the reserve together. The birds sing around you. The flowers offer sweet perfumes. A pleasing breeze tumbles through the glade and whistles around a mountain bend. Two sky stories. Beautiful. That was very nice. We can get more sky stories. You must wait till a glade is available. Oh, here we go. Oh, sorry. Brief wander. This is a different message. Um, there are reasons why tour guides are considered essential here. The reserve is not for the faint-hearted. Most visitors will soon find themselves desperately lost. You are fortunate in that, while you spend a while exploring, you find only nothing. You are still able to return to safety. You must wait till a guide is available, if you wish to find anything. Alright. Okay, yeah, so this, this must have changed, I didn't realize it. 
Uh, take a walk into the reserve alone. There are no guides <laughs> to escort you at the moment. All right. Well, I guess that's that. Yeah, we probably can't get more Sky Stars quite so cheaply. No, we do have to do something here, don't we? Okay, so perhaps not. Perhaps not. Uh, yeah, so let's... Uh, so we have the Phlegmatic Researcher's List. Okay, so we've done the course of study, we've done the list. We don't have any research. Uh, what happens if we do this? Actually, let's see if we can get more than one mission at a time. He needs uh, he needs one of the following requests. Of course, uh, he's happy to reward you if you bring back more. Well, let's cancel our other... You know what? We can always bring back more, so who cares? Um, yeah, I don't want to accidentally, like, erase one from the list and, like, fail a quest or something. Um, so we could ask about, yeah, let's ask about the ornithologist bird. These scientists must have seen something of it, surely. Mocking laughter. A bird that can grind down a mountain to dust. The scientists waste no time on manners. Surely its beak will wear down faster. Unless it's some kind of magic beak made of something harder than a diamond. It is, uh, is it a magic beak, Captain? A magic harder than diamond beak? It quickly becomes clear why the romantic ornithologist works alone. Alright, let's head over to the shop, see what the bazaar... Ooh, we got tea. Tea for sale. Buy tea. Everyone likes tea. Please? A disheveled research associate has briefly docked while on an arduous ex uh, research expedition. She sells caddies of dried tea from an oak chest. Due to an unfortunate but entirely understandable administrative error, the professor's entire research budget has been spent on tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she explains, uh, shuffling her feet awkwardly. Please buy some. <laughs> well, this is probably going to be worth quite a bit of money. So, I think it probably makes sense just to buy all of it. To be honest. Uh, you've unlocked this with Affiliation Academy. Yeah, let's just buy it. Because um, when we go back to London, I'm sure it's going to fetch more than $70 each. Um, so this is... And these messages all look the same. But these ones are different. Uh, Skyfair supplies. A brisk, efficient shop at the station. So brisk, in fact, and so efficient, that it's almost as if they want to get rid of visitors as quickly as possible. <laughs> Alright. Cute. We'll get our supplies up to four. Yeah, we'll go up to five for the supplies because it's already pretty low. And we do tend to go through them a little bit more quickly than the other... Um, than the fuel. I wonder if we could sell these for more than 40. We do have one back at... Um, a sack of verdant seeds back at New Winchester. So we don't have to buy it to find out, but it's 40. Just making a mental note. Uh. Alright, uh, so I think that that's it for this nature reserve, LNS nature reserve, and I think I'm probably gonna wrap up this episode here. Uh, we found a new location. We actually found two new new locations, but we were only able to get to one of them. So, in the next episode, I think we're going to try to find our way back to Winchester. And then we'll go after the other dock that we just found and see what it is. I bet it's Titiana. But it could be... I, I, well, it could also be the circus. Um, 
Could be any of them, really. Um, I feel like the hy hybridus or whatever. Hybris? Hybris? Something? Uh, I think that that's usually a little bit further out because there's usually a, uh, a terror nearby, and those terrors are usually not in towards um, New Winchester. They want to give new players the ability to, you know, get out and not just completely get destroyed immediately. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this, and if you have, please like, comment, maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.